Hi everyone, my name's Addison Carlton. I'm a, uh, just a local musician in Central Florida, playing bar bands, and I'm here today to talk about Tom Clement basses. This particular bass happens to be mine. This is Tom Clement number 347, and he built it for me in 2014. I would love to tell you about it. Uh, the first thing I want to tell you is Tom built this bass just for me. This bass is unique, there's not another one like it, and you can get yours just that way from Tom anytime you want. You can tell Tom what it is that you need, what it is that you want from an instrument, and he'll build it very specifically to your needs. In my case, I wanted some very special things from the neck. So let me tell you about the neck that's on this bass. I wanted a fat C-shaped neck which is a little unusual. Most of the necks that you'll find these days are real thin. Uh, not my thing. I like a neck with some beef to it. I also wanted a 35 inch scale. I wanted 19 millimeter spacing. So I wanted a pretty big neck on this base. I also wanted it five piece. I wanted a five piece to give it some more stability to make certain that it didn't move around a lot. I like a very stable neck. So let me tell you about this one. It's got a five piece maple neck. It's flame maple with bloodwood strips in it. Uh, they're very prominent, thick, and beautiful. It's lovely the way that it's finished. Comes into a very nice contoured heel. The fretboard on this particular base is bird's eye maple, and it's got jumbo stainless steel frets in it. Uh, it's exceptionally comfortable. It's exactly the way that I asked for it to be made. Uh, it's got a zero fret, uh, hip shot ultralight tuners in it, uh, with this particular neck on this base, it's not neck heavy as you might expect it to be with such a beefy neck. In addition to that, when I asked Tom to make this base, I wanted the neck pocket shallow. Um, I find that when I'm playing slap, if I'm playing a base that has a pick guard on it or a, a shallow neck pocket, it's uncomfortable for me to get underneath the strings if I'm trying to pop a particular note and there's something in the way. So I wanted the neck pocket shallow so that it sat a little higher off of the body. And I also wanted to accommodate the bridge that I wanted to use. Again, Tom will make whatever bass that you want. If you want something unique, he can make that for you. And in my case, I wanted to use a Kaler 7450 bridge. And he accommodated me in that. And part of that was, again, making the neck pocket shallow. We put all of this on a, one of Tom's body shapes. It's a Phoenix. It's a swamp ash body. There's no special top on it. It's plain swamp ash with an oil finish. The color being as dark as it is comes from using a walnut oil. Uh, there's two coats of walnut oil before the remaining coats of clear oil on it, which darkened it up and provided a little bit of contrast with the, the bird's eye maple fretboard. And then for pickups, we used Nordstrom Big Singles. Um, I really like the sound of these pickups. Uh, they sound exceptional, they're nice and big and fat, and I'm a single coil guy, I like single coil pickups. For controls, I wanted passive, and I, I decided I'm going to go ahead and start passive and see what I have before I went ahead and put a preamp in it. So we went passive, and it sounds so great, I see no need to put a preamp in it. Um, it's got a blend control here, which allows me to pan between the neck pickup and the bridge pickup, with a center detent is both pickups and their humbucking when it's in the center. And then there's a volume pot. The volume pot is just like any other volume pot. I decided not to put a tone control on it uh, simply because I have all of this tone control over in my rig or for a, a live situation. The, the sound man's getting a DI and he's got all of his tone control in his board. They, he can do what he wants with it. Uh, I didn't see any need to have that in the bass itself. Uh, some folks love having all that control on their instrument. I'd rather have it over on the rig. Uh, let me give you a little demonstration of how it sounds. We'll start with my favorite position, which is just the neck pickup solo. Uh, this is the position I usually play in. I'm just going to play a little blues walk here. and big and round, um, it's kind of got a hot rod P bass sound and that's what I like the most for my 
ordinary playing. Uh, if I need something that's a little fatter, I'm playing some dance music or something like that, that's when I'll turn it to the humbucker position by center detenting the two pickups together. And if I play the same passage, you can hear that the mid-range drops out just a little bit and the extended frequency from the bottom and the top comes up. So it kind of scoops itself just a little bit. slap sound on it is just stellar. So I really like that tone and if I need to go to something that's a little bit more brash, a little more Jocko-esque, I start rolling it back towards the bridge. Now if I roll it all the way back to where I'm soloing just the bridge, you can hear this real bark in it. So if I'm trying to solo or something, I often use the bridge pickup for that. Uh, this bass for me is the be all end all of basses. I need this bass to do whatever I want to do anytime I want to do it. I can get any tone I need out of this bass and just my hands. Um, that's what I wanted Tom to make for, and he made it for me. So I encourage you, if you would like to design a bass just for you that's made just the way that you want it, uh, give Tom a call, look him up on the website, drop him a line. He can make whatever you need. Alright, have a great day. Thanks.